My name is Siobhan Bailey, S-I-O-B-H-A-N. I got started with Our House through community service. I had gotten into trouble with a, a gentleman and uh, got some time, probation, and 145 hours of community service. And I chose Our House because it was right down the street from the house. Trent got me into the reentry program. Then he asked me about KFC, and I was like, sure, I'll try it. And then Mr. Ramsey, Chris Ramsey, the KFC, one of KFC case workers, just pulled me on in and said, hey, we think you'd be a good candidate for the program. Come on in, and I've been in it. It's a year program. And they help families get back on their feet as far as employment and get stable housing and get stable period in life. Me and Mr. Ramsey, I call him up, and he's like, come on down, and we'll go in the room and we'll talk about everything under the sun. And, it's just kind of like a relief to have somebody to talk to about situations going on because I was kind of down and out about my situation. And so with our house and the KFC and the reentry program, they kind of like motivate you to just go out there and try anyway. You know, this is just a blemish. We're here. You're a good person. You just made a mistake. You'll do better next time. I'm saving up money for housing for me and my children because I'm currently with my grandma. I have three. Jason, who will be 13 in August. Taryn, a.k.a. Juice, he just turned 8 in October. And Brooklyn, a.k.a. Peanut Butter, she just turned 5 in May. <laughs> Those three are the biggest part of my life. They kind of motivated me to find a job because I was kind of down and out about my situation. I'm a baker and I actually filled out a, I did, made my resume and I sent it to them from here in the computer lab. And they called me like two or three days later and said, hey, we're interested, come down for an interview. Went down for the interview, they offered me the job, I took the job, and I've been running ever since. <laughs> a typical day, come in at, an early day, come in at 6.30, wash your hands, put on your hair and your apron, and get to baking. Look at your bake sheet and start baking. And don't stop baking till you're done. <laughs> when I get to the end of the year, I'd like to have my own place a good stable housing situation. I'd like to have a better, more reliable car. And I kind of want to have my own business, have my own bake shop. It would be awesome. We'd be doing wedding cakes and we'd have them awesome cookies because I love cookies. Mm. And we'd be inventive and new. People come from everywhere. Like, we've got to have your cookie. We've got to have your cake, you know. You make the best such and such and such and such. And I'll be like, yep, I do. You want it? I got it for you. It's, I want my kids to see that I made a mistake. I lost it for a little while, but I'm getting back up. I'm fighting for my spot in the workforce. I'm fighting for my spot in the apartment complex. I'm fighting for my spot all the time because of something I did two years ago. So I'm fighting to stay where I'm at. I'm fighting to get better. I'm fighting to build up trust that was lost. I'm fighting to rebuild confidence. If you make a mistake, as people do, and you're going to probably fall down a little bit, just get back up. Don't forget to get back up. Because, you know, it's going to knock you back 10 steps, but you'll charge ahead 30 steps. <laughs>